Uh, tell us a bit about Temple of the Dawn. <coughs> well, we... <laughs> Pearl Jam and Soundgarden broke up and formed this band. <laughs> when Soundgarden got off tour, actually, um, the last time when they went out for Odd and Love, they got off tour, and it was right after Andy had died, and, um, and Chris had written a couple songs about Andy, and played them for me and Jeff, and said, you know, if you guys want to, you know, help get together and record these songs, and you'd be great. And the songs were... Amazing. Actually, were say hello to heaven and reach down, and it was like the, even the demo version that he did at his house was like totally sickening. So we decided that we were going to record those two songs, and um, and Mike was a guitar, our, our guitar player, Mike McCready, um, uh, was start. We were already playing together as far as like starting Pearl Jam, and um, we said, well, maybe Mike could play on it, and, and Matt Cameron, and then we just started rehearsing for these two songs, and I had a couple more songs, and Chris ended up writing like you know four more songs on top of that, and um, and we just rehearsed for two weeks, and we said, well. Soundgarden said, well, we'll pay for it, and then some label will buy it. We thought it was going to be Polygram at the time, but it turns out A&M actually ended up putting it out, and uh, we made the record for, I mean, nothing. Uh, one twentieth of what we normally make, you know, or what, you know, the average major label, you know, record is made for, and we made it in about, you know, a, probably a total of about two and a half weeks. So I think in that sense, I think we're more proud of it than anything, because it was like no pressure, and we just went in and we just did it. And we didn't like think about it too much, and we left a lot of stuff really just kind of the way it was, and it's pretty jammy, and and it's a record that it's just a great record, I think. It's probably a record that we had as little to do, to do with as any record that we played on. I mean, a lot, a lot of it's certainly close. Definitely. Okay, let's go into more recent history. You guys were on a European tour, and into the Brussels. We've been on the we've been on the road for over ten months, and I think. I think there just came a point, like about halfway through that tour, that it was just starting to get pretty intense. I mean, just just being away from home and being on the road all the time, and being lonely or being depressed or or whatever. And and a lot of times you can take it out on one another or whatever. And it just, I mean, we said a long time ago, if anybody got too sick of of, of touring, like in the long run, that you know, a few shows or whatever, or you know, calling the end of touring, you know, like if, if you decided, I mean, like I said, if, if if we weren't doing Lollapalooza, we probably wouldn't be touring anymore. We'd probably take a break and we'd go back and make another record. But um, it's one of those things, if it's not 